Good morning, John. I recently realized that I have an obsession I didn't know about, which is not that unusual for me. I was just scrolling through my photos, like you do, and I noticed that in the last few weeks I've taken a lot of pictures of signs. So then I just searched Google Photos for signs, and I found out that I have taken, like, hundreds of pictures of signs over the last 15 years. The earliest one was actually from 2004, so we're, we're getting up close to 20. And a lot of them are just objectively very good, so I'm going to share with you now my favorites. One thing I love about a sign is if it's telling me more than it thinks it's telling me. For example, this swan hunters must have visible means of retrieval sign told me that there are swan hunters in the world and that sometimes they shoot a swan that they cannot retrieve and that that is a problem that can only really be avoided in one way. This sign told me that pit toilets are cleaned by human beings, which is something I probably should have known but didn't. It also just has a tremendous kick-ass aesthetic with all of the scratch graffiti. This sign told me that somebody kicked the pony. I also really like secret signs like this one I found on the inside door of a mailbox. I also like signs that tell me there's a story without telling me what the story is. Like these three signs that all say do not enter, but one of them has been taped over. Like why? Why tape over one? There is a story here. I cannot imagine what it is. I love a beautiful sign, but I also love a sign that becomes more beautiful. Like this railway marker, the way that the coating on the sign fractaled differently given the different shape of the W and the five. Same with these two danger signs. So great. And this rusted up beast was at that same power station which was behind the lab I worked at in 2004. These were the oldest photos I have of signs. Possibly this was the beginning of my obsession. Oh, so long ago. Aging signs is something I really seem to be into. I looked at this one for a really long time, but I could never figure out what the danger was. And then there is this sign marker at the end of a trail in the National Bison Range that I have taken pictures of so many times that I have a catalog of its deterioration. I love signs that try to be very clear and succeed, like this danger sign I saw in Italy. But I also love signs that try too hard to be very clear. Like this no e-bike sign that has one, two, three, four different indicators that it's talking specifically about e-bikes. Very clearly. Every person in the meeting had a different idea for how to represent e-bikes, and they decided to use all of them. But most of all, my favorite genre of sign, it's clear and looking through them, is signs that are accidentally funny. But before we get to that, I gotta remind you that you are going to need to buy socks throughout your life, but instead of that being a chore, I want to take care of it for you. The Awesome Socks Club will send you a pair of socks designed by a different independent artist every month. We've worked hard to make them cozy and durable and delightful. Shipping is free, you can cancel any time, and all the profit goes to decrease maternal and child mortality in Sierra Leone. You can sign up for Ankle Socks or Mid-Calf Cruise, and you can get $5 off your first month with a link in the description. You can pause the video right now. I will still be here when you get back. So what do I mean by unintentionally funny designs? Well, there is a Hall of Fame example here in Missoula, Montana. This sign, which is meant to be two signs, but it is impossible to not read it as one. Certain misspelled signs can be very funny. For example, this yald sale sign was a huge win for me. Once I really hit the jackpot when they were reorganizing my grocery store, we got snack time, eye care and feminine care, breakfast, juices and candy, as well as baby care, bleach, dish soap. This one I can't really tell if it was meant to be funny. It seemed entirely sincere, so I'm including it. Then there's this giant bronze banana in Palm Springs, one of the hottest places in America. And it's hot. It's a hot banana. It's a hot banana! It's on the edge of whether this is a sign, but these labeled poster boxes from the DFTBA warehouse, which can either be read top to bottom or bottom to top, giving very different perspectives on the human story. And then I'm gonna end with one of my faves. Is it my favorite? I don't know. Maybe. Maybe it is. But please don't flash the octopus. It's... It's, in, it's at least in the top tier. John, you can only sign up for the Awesome Socks Club this week and next week, so you might as well go do it now. I'll see you on Tuesday. Oh look, and as a special present, this is wild. I had 15 extra seconds in this video, even though the script was very long. So I, I don't know what I did. I guess I talked really fast, but here's some others of my favorites. Okay, $5 off the Awesome Socks Club with the link in the description.